I have a question. In times of drought, parts of my lawn turn brown. Should I be concerned about that? Yeah, so, you know, we've had three years in a row now where we've had a pretty severe drought, uh, and so many of our lawns have been struggling, and it's that cumulative effect of, oh, over time, we've just been losing a little bit more grass, and so, in some cases, we've had uh, an invasion of certain weeds and just created space for, uh, for different pests and weeds and things like that to take hold, and so, People are probably noticing their lawns may uh, looking a little bit thinner, maybe look a little bit browner, uh, or the encroachment of weeds. So I'm kneeling here at the Arboretum uh, in a lawn that's unirrigated and uh, receives very little pest control, but, uh, but it's a great example of what, uh, what homeowners have been noticing in their lawns lately. This is really dry, thin turf, uh, and really what you're seeing is, in some cases, some, sometimes the grass is actually dead, uh, but most often, it's just going in through a, a stage of dormancy. It's just a drought avoidance mechanism for the lawns to basically wait until there's more rainfall that they can use. My recommendation is just to, to wait until we get a little bit more predictable rainfall and see what comes back from your lawn and how it responds to this, uh, these drought conditions. If and when we do get a little bit more predictable rainfall, you'll know if you did actually lose any, any grass in that area, and if you did, that's when I would consider uh, overseeding sometime this fall with a, another cool season turf grass species that is uh, a little bit more drought tolerant, a little bit more drought resistant, things like uh, the tall fescue or the fine fescues. Ask the Arboretum Experts has been brought to you by the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum in Chaska, dedicated to welcoming, informing, and inspiring all through outstanding displays, protected natural areas, horticultural research, and education.